Hello guys, and we're going to do a very quick video today. As you can already tell, it's picture off picture. Hello. And this is largely because we're going to be doing a 40 gigabit Ethernet speed test with the TVS X72 XT. What we're going to do is use the two NVMe SSDs that we installed inside this NAS a short while ago. And then, let's open this bad boy up, we're then going to do a 40 GBE speed test on those drives. Now, on the PC that I'm using today, I also have an NVMe Samsung 960 drive inside. So what we can also check out today is what is the eventual speed difference between a local NVMe and an NVMe inside this NAS? Because ultimately, that's why a number of you are going to be utilizing this Thunderbolt enabled NAS. You want to be able to see if putting super fast media inside is of benefit to your photo or video editing workflow. So straight away, if we go into the network management, we're able to see via the virtual switch that one of the 10 GB, uh, the 40 GB port is connected. I hope you can see that well on the screen there. And again, I could record from the screen using programs such as OBS, but with OBS, it will affect our read and write speeds overall. So what we want to do is move forward from this. And again, we are recording on OBS at the same time as this. So hopefully that should maintain um, after the video, but soon we'll flick over to the other screen to get the read and write speeds. Um, what I've done is I've set up a network drive via that 40 GBE connection. So in here in the PC, I've already set up this uh, RAID here. Hopefully we can make that bigger for you on screen. Extra large icons there. And here is our NVMe SSDs in a RAID right there. Next, we're going to open up AJA. And for now, we're going to switch over to the off-screen recording to give you some idea about these speeds. Because otherwise, the speeds we're going to get aren't going to be anywhere near as strong as they should be. So we're going to switch over. Okay, so we've moved over to the screen off the screen here. Where we're recording to make sure we get these high numbers. And we're going to use the NVMe um, RAID that we've set up on this Thunderbolt NAS, the TVS 872XT. And without further ado, let's get this moving. So straight away, the write speeds we're looking at here are already starting at 1200 megabytes per second write. Now, in previous tests that I did prior to this video, I did see it peaking somewhere around 13, and even at one point, all the way over 1400 megabytes per second. We're ignoring read today, just because the read speeds aren't as relevant for the course of this test. We will be doing stuff with read in other videos, but just because the NVMe that is installed in this host system isn't the primary media, isn't the C drive. Consequently, the read speeds were very unreliable in the course of this test. But for now, what we're looking at is those NVMEs in the RAID 0 on this Thunderbolt enabled NAS and with the 40 gigabit Ethernet card at either end. There we are, we've picked the 1300 mark there as well. And to give you some basis of comparison, what I'll do is I'm gonna stop this test here and now we're going to utilize a 250 gig Samsung 960 Evo drive locally inside this device. And this is what we're getting from a local drive. So again, this isn't using network. This is an NVMe SSD that's installed in a full speed NVMe slot. So again, great comparison numbers there and good to know we're not losing too much speed between a local NVMe based SSD and NVMEs installed inside that QNAT NAS. Now again, we are seeing high speeds here locally, that shouldn't come as a huge surprise, but it's still great that we're able to get these kind of numbers out of this software. Okay, so I can hear a number of you thinking, that was a two port 40 GBE card you've got there. Have you thought about link aggregating it? I most certainly have, as you can see, the two ports of 40 gigabit Ethernet each, I've link aggregated together on that screen, and on the QNAP, I've adapted them together to become one giant 40 GBE plus 40 GBE connection. And this information here should show you, hopefully it will be strong enough on screen for you to see. If it ever wants to load, it would be my own fault for pushing my luck there. But what we're gonna do now is I'm now gonna do the same speed test with AJA using link aggregation of two 40 gigabit ethernet ports just to see if we can eat any more out of this drive and again we are doing picture off picture and i've set up a brand new network drive uh, this is again on end so i've deleted the old one and i've used this brand new network drive here so there is this one i've recreated it from the beginning you've got the properties 
and again we've got these bridge connection together so let's see what it looks like so again that's quite a low start speed there but straight away we've gone straight up to that 1200 and again unlike before we seem to have hit 1200 consistently uh, with our right speed with these link aggregated ports and 1300 a lot earlier this time too i do think we're maxing out the potential speed here of these nvme so unless qnap plan on bringing out a device that features maybe four or six nvme slots this is still a pretty impressive speed and again this is using PCIe based 40 GBE connectivity. Both of these cards, you have to have a host card in your machine as well as a card inside the QNAP NAS with a supported PCIe slot and a QSFP connection uh, cable to put them all together. Right now I'm using two cables and two cards uh, lended to us from QNAP and again, these are some great results. And if you are someone who is looking at having an editing NAS for high scale video and also want to use the distribution of a NAS, this is definitely something to look at. I had to remove the QNAP card just to get this other card installed, but even with the QNAP Thunderbolt card installed, we were still getting speeds of well over a thousand and close to 1100 megabytes per second right. I'm gonna wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. And again, do check out that XT series NAS. It is definitely something to contend with. And again, this device here, is one that is the six core i5 8th gen NAS. So it is a beast with both SSD and hard drive support. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.